Sophie? Hey. Did you find Ethel? Not yet. Did you? No. I have not. Okay. Don't you think it's kind of important to find Ethel? I have looked in all the toilets. I have not seen Ethel. I think you're fine if you need to take a little, you know, load off and uh, you'll be all right. No, I'll, I'll use the outhouse out here. I, I feel more. Well, maybe Ethel's in the outhouse. Oh, I bet Ethel's in the outhouse. Oh, I'd go check the. I go check the outhouse. Dig, dig in there and see if Ethel's in there. Oh no, you can go right ahead and dig in there. No, I gotta go to work. Golf cart's already working. I got, I got soybeans to combine, my dear. I will not be sticking my hands down no toilet. Okay. Did you find any farms for sale that you're interested in yet? Well. I was thinking about that Pacific one. Oh, you want you want to go to the northwest of the U.S., huh? Yeah. Oh, that's not too shabby. We, we could maybe find a nice little place there. I think we could find something there. Yeah. What okay. do you think? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll keep looking. Just keep looking. I gotta okay, go to work I'll, though. I'll keep shopping. And and keep looking for Ethel. You keep earning the money, honey, and I'll keep trying to find some ways to spend it. Okay, I'll bring home the bacon. Oh, speaking of bacon. Home the bacon. You want to make me a couple of bacon sandwiches for I'll pick up later? Absolutely. After I'm done looking for Ethel in the outhouse. Okay, good job. I'll talk to you later, Sophie. Yep, bye-bye. Bye-bye. I tell you what. There you have it. Ethel is in the outhouse. Sophie will be a happy camper digging for Ethel. That's good news. I got. I was a little worried about Ethel. Um, also worried for my own well-being. But anyways, good morning to you. Happy uh, Monday to you. Sort of a new week. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to uh, Middle Grove Farms, which might be a two-part. I don't know yet. One part. But Golf Cart Jackie is here. He is um, working in the grass fields. This will be probably, most likely, the end of Meadow Grove. We have come, we have conquered, we have set out to do what we have to do, and life is good. Adrian is happy. The farm after today will be profitable, sustainable. Uh, the loan will be paid off because there's a little bit of a loan left, but we have some great things in store today, and we will get this all taken care of and all done. Uh, what I got going on is harvesting. All the crops are ready to go. This fine and any morning here at 9.23. So I started the soybean harvest about 6 o'clock this morning. And I'm just about done with the soybean field. And I came back home to uh, talk to Sophie a little bit and see what she came up with. I tell you what, she that Pacific Northwest, she likes that area of the U.S. So I don't know. Back to our home country. We'll see. I, I just don't know. I just don't know, my friends. But anyways, so... I have more harvesting to do today, and then I talked to West Virginia Joe, and we have four horses that are now worth 22000 bucks a piece. So I have the Fent 515 down at his place. He said I could borrow his horse trailer to um, haul them down to his place, and he will purchase them. So that is absolutely outstanding. I am so looking forward to that. Now, where in the heck am I going? I need to go this way. Yes, I do. I gotta get back up to the pig farm. That's where the combine is at. And like I said, I basically have that field pretty much done, but I was so hungry for a bacon sandwich that I had to run back home and get one real quick. And of course, I ran out of Mountain Dew already this morning, so I had to get some more Mountain Dew to stock up with that. So we're gonna do that and do some horses and probably some maybe some animal work. And we're getting ready to wrap this thing up. Uh, I don't know, I haven't talked to Adrian. I, I think Golf Cart Jockey has. If Adrian is going to... Uh, find a full-time operator for this farm or if he's going to take it himself or sell it and make money and go on to the next uh, project i don't know but he's got a lot of options because this is certainly a um, awesome farm and will have uh, awesome possibilities for anybody who's interested so if you're looking for a farm and you want to come to meadow grove there is opportunity to be had that's right okay let's pull into the pig farm my first home here oh i miss the pig farm i don't miss the smell but i miss the uh Oh, the bacon. Look at all that scrumptious bacon going on in there. That is absolutely awesome. Yep. Very, very cool. So, oh, we could probably sell some bacon, too. I wonder, how much bacon do we have? We have, um, 
32. So actually, there's seven bacon that could be. So, oh, they need some stuff. We better get we better get on the ball with that. Uh, I think we need to get some. Uh, let's just take a look at our pig food silo here. We have some corn, but we are out of wheat or barley. So if we get some of that in there, this thing will start producing some pig food. And I believe the field right next to us has got uh, wheat in it. So that'll be awesome. So we can just take that right over here to the uh, pig food mixer and we'll be all set. But let's just hop into the uh, the buy zone. The buy zone. Or the buy zedon. Yeah, there you go. Let's see. I got the zeal on the trailer here. So I'm all set to go. We'll fire this thing back up. I love this combine. I re Oops, crap. That's a zeal. I don't need a combine in the zeal. I need a combine in... <laughs> <laughs> the bison, what were you doing? Oh, for crying out loud. I tell you what, guy. You're out of it. Awesome combine. Awesome combine. I don't care what you call it. It's an awesome combine. Speedy Gonzalez combine, too. I tell you what. Yeah, that's all I got left here. I can't remember how much I had in the uh, the zeal in the trailer, but this will be immediately sold. This um, soybeans. We don't need this for any kind of our animals, so it'll be sold, and that'll be more money into the El Buckle. So that's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, no, a beautiful day. Beautiful day at Middle Grove Farm. Yeah, that's a wheat field right there. So we'll just quickly combine that one up, and we'll put that wheat into the pig food mixer, and we'll put down uh, swaths for straw bales. I don't know. We, we probably won't get to that. But I tell you what, the intention is that uh, once Golf Cart Jackie and I leave here, and he's a world traveler, world farmer. Um, he will be uh, at... Uh, Seesaw Sortenvilton. Yeah, he'll be there. And then I think he's going to the U.S. as well. So that'll be awesome. He's got all kinds of good things going on there. You know, that Jockey Inc. is going global. I tell you, they are going global. So I feel sorry for any of the local drivers in the area that he goes. But anyways, that's okay. So be it. Especially the ones on this side of the pond because uh, he has trouble knowing what side of the road to drive on. But it's all good. I have the same trouble too now and then. And uh, nothing wrong with that. Let's see. La -da -dee, la -da -da. This is an awesome combine. This really is a darn good combine, I tell you. Darn good combine. You betcha. Could go a little faster. Six mile an hour harvesting speed is not too shabby, though. You know, I wish there was an entrance uh, out of this field and into that field. Otherwise, you got to go through the farm, cut down the road, and come back up this way. But the buy zone is the perfect combine for this uh, this area. Easily traversable. And uh, all good, all good, all good there. All good. Awesome. Yeah, I bet Sophie is digging that outhouse right now. I tell you what, <laughs> I'm still laughing thinking about it. I really am. It is kind of ironic because uh, this coming weekend, starting on Wednesday, we're taking a little vacation. Sophie, myself, and my 15-year-old, um, my <laughs> we're going to the cabin. You know, it's 4th of July on Thursday, so you got to buy some fireworks and uh, launch those babies off and um, have a little fun, rented a boat, get the boat in the water, all kinds of good stuff. And uh, the cabin that we're going to is um, mostly a hunting cabin in the family. What is going on here? Holy buckets. Probably get a little bit closer. That might help. Um, whoa, not on the cab. Don't put the soybeans on the cab for crying out loud. What is wrong with you, man? So, there. That'll take care of that. All these soybeans. That, anyways, so the, ca the hunting cabin, uh, it doesn't have... Um, Electricity. It's everything is gas operated. You know, gas stove, gas oven, gas furnace, or not even gas furnace, gas stove, gas oven, and um, gas lighting. Little lanterns in the ceiling. But anyways, and it's got a well pump right on the uh, kitchen sink. But anyways, it's an outhouse. And the good news is, here's the good news about this outhouse. It is a two seater outhouse. You betcha. Sophie and I can use the outhouse at the exact same time. Why they ever built a two seater outhouse is beyond me. Like, who wants to go? Sit on the outhouse with another person. I don't get it. I don't get it. I have no idea. what. I think it, maybe it was built as a joke, but I know. Who's ever going to use a two-seater outhouse? Uh, blows me away. Oop, through the hedge there. Anyways, we'll open that up. We'll get the buy zone in here. And I wonder if Andrew would work today. I could have Andrew start doing some combining here. Maybe I'll give him a call. I don't know if, he, I don't know if he's over with helping golf cart jockey or not. Look at this. This is a perfect combine. This goes right in there. And... Uh, Maybe he can do some combining. I can go take care of some horses work, get that done, sell these soybeans, and uh, yeah, it'll be good to go. So maybe I'll do that. Let's see. Are we are we uh, putting out straw swaths? No, we're not. Okay, we want to do that. We want to do that. There by his own. There you go. I don't know. There you go. Perfect. So I think we'll do that. I'll call Andrew, 
See if he wants to come up. We'll go sell the soybeans, and then we'll probably go down to uh, West Virginia Joe's Horse Emporium. We'll take care of some business there, get those horses delivered, and the money will just come flying in, I tell you. Flying in. So um, I'll see you here in a little bit. But anyways, happy Monday to you. Hope you're having a great Monday so far. A great week in store for you. For those of you here in the uh, U.S., it's 4th of July week. Awesome. Doesn't get any better than that, I tell you what. Doesn't get any better than that, my friends. Ah, I got a hold of Andrew. He's going to come down a little bit, but I have a full hopper already in the buy zone. Just one pass around. So let's hop into the zeal, and we are going to sell these fine and outstanding soybeans, 6,437. Uh, let me think. Where is the place to go for sell soybeans today? Holy buckets. What in the heck? Top Hill. Of course. Of course. Why wouldn't it be the most farthest place away for crying out loud? Uh, it could never be easy. But the wheat will be easy because that just goes right here. But we'll head up to Top Hill and we will sell these uh, soybeans and we'll make a little bit of profit. Now, which would be the best way to get there? I think if I cut down here and then... Let's see. You know, I, I should know this by now, but... Uh, if I cut down here and then cut up past the animal dealer and um, head up that way towards the uh, the cow farm, that'll be pretty good. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll head up that way. We'll sell these soybeans. Not a bad price. 1200 bucks for a uh, thousand liters of soybeans. So that'll make a little bit of extra money in the coffers. Nothing wrong with that. Golf cart Jackie. Adrian, they love money, my friends. They love money. I love money, too, though. Don't get me wrong. I'm a big fan of money. Um, usually, I don't have any of it, but I, I still love it. Absolutely. You know what? Have you noticed that there's a lot of blind corners on this thing here? You know, you got to kind of sneak out there and hope a car's not coming kind of thing. Yeah. No wonder there's so many acts. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm coming through. Hang on there, cars. Whoa. I tell you what. The power of the zeal. The power of the zeal is oh, beyond reproach, man. Beyond Miner, man, look at him go. Come on, Andrew, put your rocker up. Let's get you unloaded here, and then I'm gonna head over and um, get that taken care of. Oh crap, let me see. Oh, hold on, Andrew. I gotta catch up, buddy. I gotta catch up, my friend. There we go. You know, I don't know what made me think why I needed to take the empty trailer to sell the soybeans. We made a pretty good chunk of money there, I thought. Yeah, we did. Um, not too shabby at all. Let's see, is that gonna be empty for the combine? Uh, close enough. Have a good time, Andrew. Let's see. What should I do with this thing? Um, we'll just back it over here. I'm going to walk back over. I'm going to grab my John Deere Gator. We'll park this here for Andrew. Andrew's driving all over the place. And we'll grab that. We'll head down to West Virginia Joe. I had the 515 jump the hedge. I had the 515 down there with his um, animal transport trailer. So that'd be pretty good. We'll have to take two loads with that because I can only haul two horses at a time. But uh, whoa, whoa, watch out! But that'll be a good, that'll be a good extra income for us, and we'll keep uh, West Virginia Joe happy. Whoa, holy crap! With uh, providing good quality horses for him, you can't go wrong with that. Not at all. I haven't seen Jockey. I know he's busy. He is um, busy around here with the bail work. Let's see. I want to go this way, and it should be that far. It should be right down the road here to um, Joe's Horse Emporium. You betcha. You betcha. We still are just about done fulfilling the contract with West Virginia Joe, to be honest with you. We have some um, hay bales that have to be delivered to him. I have some oats to deliver to him as well once we get over to the old field. I think the old field will probably be the next field that we will um, harvest as he pull into here at Joe's place. Joe's got a nice place. I, oh, look at that. Yeah, golf cart jockey's already dropping off the bales for him. So that's awesome. 
That is just splendid. So let's see. Park here. I had the 515 with the animal transport trailer. Nice fancy red color for Joe. And uh, we'll hop into here. And we're going to go up to the uh, horse farm. And we'll pick up two horses at a time. We'll bring them down here to Joe. We'll drop them off and we'll be paid handsomely. Handsomely for that. 22700 I think, for a um, per horse. So, And then we'll probably go to the animal dealer and we'll buy... Four more horses again, and we'll put them in the uh, horse pen, the horse paddock, and then the trainers can come in and keep them trained. And uh, the new people, the new owners, the new operators, they can uh, decide whatever to do with that. Well, that's all. That's all in um, Adrian's hands now. Uh, out of our, out of our uh, hands. Once we uh, completed our task, I think I think we, we're doing a fantastic job here. I tell you what, I'm excited to see what go kart jockey. Um, comes up with these silage bills. We are going to make a fortune on them. I, I have a feeling we are going to make a fortune. A small little $20,000 loan yet at the bank, but <laughs> there's going to be a lot of money once we get these um, bills sold. Let's see. Up to the horse farm. Oh, horse with no name, but that was not the original horse with no name. I talked to Sophie, and I still know where the original horse with no name is at. And I told her, if we can find a new place, if you want to settle down, Sophie, we will go get Horse With No Name. I'm excited about getting Horse With No Name. I don't know. I put him on a plane or a boat. I don't know. Either one is fine with me. As long as he gets there. As well, look at all those. Look at all those marshmallows out there. I think we could have a little, little s'more festival we could. Yes, we could. A s'more festival. Ethel in an outhouse. I tell you what. Life could not get any better. Nope. That's what we should do here. We should have like a little, um, little Woodstock and Middle Grove kind of thing. You know, we have enough pasture land here. We could get a big band together, you know, a bunch of bands, play some music. People can dance around like loving life. Yeah, good stuff. Question for you. I wasn't, I wasn't alive during Woodstock, but um, I think I probably would have enjoyed going to Woodstock. I do. What year was Woodstock? That's a good question. Maybe I wasn't. No, I couldn't have been alive. That was in the 60s, wasn't it? I don't know. I'll have to look that one up. I'll have to IHOP it. Anyways, here we are. Let's um, open up the door here. We'll back into there. We'll load two ho oh, crap. We'll load two horses in there, and we'll take them down to West Virginia Joe, and then of course stop at the animal dealership and pick up two other ones. So we got we got quite a few trips here to come up our sleeve. Yes, we do. Let's see. Right there, perfect. Let's load up Annabelle and Jasmine. Yago and Horse No Name can go second. Okay, we got them loaded up. No. Did we get them loaded up? No, we didn't. Oh, God, that would have been embarrassing if I left and <laughs> didn't even have them loaded up. Oh, man, that would have been terrible. There they go. There they go. Okie dokie, then. Um, we'll close this up, and we'll head down. Maybe we'll close it up. I don't know. There we go. That's much better. And we'll head, <laughs> head down to Joe's. We'll deliver them, get paid, come back, get two more. Oh, never a dull moment here on the farm. Thanks, Joe. You're a good man, my friend. You are a good man. I appreciate doing business with you. Two horses. They're, they're fine horses, Joe. You're going to like them. You're going to like them. There you go. Got two horses dropped off at Joe's. 63211 bucks in the bank. We got paid 45, Joe paid 45550 bucks for those, for those two horses. I mean, that is just, that is splendid. Now, uh, Gulf Guard Jackie just sent me a text message. We have 16,000 liters of oats and 16 straw bales to deliver to Joe. So we're going to get that done. Um, before I go get the other two horses, you know what I'll probably do? I'll probably just do that um, off camera. I got two more horses to pick up at, uh, or pick up and deliver to Joe. So I said they're 45,000 bucks. Then I'm going to spend 20 and pick up four horses to uh, be brought to the uh, the horse paddock on our farm. So that's pretty good. So we're gonna make, let's see, we're gonna make uh, 90,000 in sold horses, and then we'll spend another uh, 20 getting it back. So we're gonna make $70,000 in, um, in horses. But that is absolutely fabulous. Let me get this, uh, he always goes the wrong way, man. Come on, buddy, you could've gone the other way. Oh, let's see. Well, I might as well empty that, too. I'm not even close to being full, but I want to put some of this wheat 
into the pig food mixer and get that up and running. Got uh, Andrew unloaded. He is a cow mining machine. He is going back at her. Um, so this will at least get that pig food machine working up and running again. And we can make some pig food here for the bacon. I did call down to the animal dealer. They are going to pick up a uh, seven pigs. Yeah, we have a little contract with them, which we kind of like. That um, they will come and pick up some bacon for us. They are short on bacon. I don't know what it is, but it's a bacon shortage here in Meadow Grove. So people are excited about having us here and selling some fine quality bacon. I mean, they make smoked bacon. They make uh, maple bacon. Uh, all kinds of Mountain Dew bacon. Um, yeah, all kinds of good stuff. A uh, flock of turtle bacon. Yeah, it's all it's all good stuff. Okay, that's unloaded. So that second number should be increasing. Look at that. It is. So that is absolutely perfect. So then the uh, pig food will commence. The pig food making will commence, and we can um, we can put that in there. Now, Eagle Eye, my uh, egg finance guru. You know, we talked about that the other day. Look at that. We already got six thousand. Hey, I tell you what. Let's um. Let's get that here, and we'll put that into the pig draft here. You know, we talked about that, the prices and stuff. Well, I wish wheat was worth more because I, I love the concept. I love the, the idea. Um, but we'll just kind of go with it. So let's see. What am I going to do now? I'm going to get, let's see. I'm going to bring this back to the, um, the wheat field, and I will get, uh, oh, crap. I think I just hit the, uh, the silo. Oops, sorry about that. Probably dented the trailer a little bit. It, Adrian is not going to be happy with me. My backing up abilities today is just kind of garbage. Just kind of garbage. So, in the meantime, we'll get, uh, let's see, is it still seven? Uh, no, it went up to eight now. Holy buckets. The pigs are reproducing every five hours. So, we'll sell eight pigs. Um, I got to go up and get the other horses, so we'll get that sold. And I'll probably just hang out here with Andrew and uh, kind of go from there. I probably should talk to Golf Cart Jockey as well and um, see what happens. But uh, let's see, let's pull back into the field. I'm going to get the uh, animal trailer. I'll head up, get the other two um, horses, get them delivered to West Virginia Joe. Maybe the cattle company will come. Boy, oh, I feel like I can turn it off. Don't need to leave the zeal running. No sense. You know what I was thinking? Nah, I'll show you later. Um, no sense wasting the fuel on that thing. Come on, Fent. Hop back into here. Like I said, we're going to go to the oat field next. That makes more sense. 16,000 liters to go to West Virginia. Joe, man, I hope we get, <laughs> I hope we can get 16,000 liters off that oat field. Uh, it'd be pretty crappy if we can't, for crying out loud. That it certainly, uh, it certainly would. Oh, buckets. Coming in to, look at that. The one and only golf cart jockey is here. He is, um... Dropping off the rest of the uh, the bales. I got two horses here. Joe has, uh, apparently he must have paid golf cart jockey because uh, we've been paid for that. So we got 94657 bucks in the bank. So we got another 45000 for the um, the two horses we sold. Plus we bought uh, four horses back. So that's not too shabby. Um we're selling bales there too. Oh, he must be selling extra bales. Maybe those are, uh, I don't know if those are for Joe or for extra bales. But look at that. Uh, 95, 99,000. Hey, buddy. Good to see you. What a great driver. He is an awesome driver. That he, oh, hold, uh, careful. So, and then we sold eight pigs. So we're just shy of $100,000. I tell you what, it, it don't get any better than that. It does not get any better than that. I am just going to, um, now I have my. That was kind of a stupid place to park the gator. Where should I get this? It was backed up in there, but uh, he'll need to um, do something with it here. So let's just put it back over here, right in front of, um, yeah, right in front of this garage. That's a good place for it. Right there. Okie dokie. Now, um, let's see. I have the gator here, and I have this tractor. What am I going to need now? Um... Let's take a look. Okay, sheep. Well, that's not my department. Chickens, not my department. Cows. Uh, hey, look at that. We have had. We've gained two animals. Um, they need some work. I can do that tonight when I get back home. Pigs. There we go. We're back down to twenty-five. So we did sell um, eight of them. And the horses. Yeah, we got uh, f four new horses here. Verona, Napoleon, Zena, and Verona. 
Two Veronas. He could have given us two horses with different names for crying out loud. So they're not actually too shabby, but they have two thousand nine hundred seventy-six bucks. We gotta get them trained up, and they will make some more money down the road. Um, take a quick gander at the map. So, oh, I better get over here and help um, Andrew with that field there. So forty is done. Then I'm gonna go down and do the oat field. That'll be right here where golf cart jockey. The GPS still works for that guy. Seventy-one there. Um, We'll get the oats done. Corn's not ready yet. Then we have a bunch of potatoes. And we got more corn here. That's done. So I could probably harvest that corn too. But we got to do the oats first. Let's see. What is oats? Yeah, we'll do the oats and the wheat here. Oat, there we are. Oats and wheat. Um, we'll get that done first. So lots to do. Let's see. I'm going to take this. No, wait. I really don't need it right now. I'm going to see if I can leave this here with Joe. Leave that here. And then... Um, I'll take my gator back up to the field and see Andrew. Jockey One Kenobi, got your ears on? I do indeed. How we doing? Not too shabby, buddy. How's it going down uh, down in your neck of the woods? Just finish up uh, Mr. Joe's hay bales. I am now loading up silage bales and going to take them to the BGA. We're going to make some big money off those silage bales, aren't we? We should do pretty good, yeah. I didn't get a count on them, but there is a whole, whole lot of them out there. There's a lot of marshmallows. I was thinking that we could have a marshmallow Woodstock kind of party. You know, like make some s'mores, listen to some music, good stuff like that. Some of that grass from your high school days. I got you. Well, I'm not the grass man. You're the one that's saying, never mind, we won't talk about it. That's right. I don't know nothing, and you can't prove it. So I was going to ask you, I was down at the unemployment office here just a little bit ago, and there is a uh, two boys. They're twins, the Dower twins, and they, they need a job. So I was wondering, maybe we could hire them to start doing some potatoes? I don't know. What, what do you think about that? I think as long as I don't have to do the potatoes, I'll give them whatever they want. Well, I, I, I feel kind of I feel kind of bad for them. I mean, they, they've touched my heart. These Dower twins, you know, they um, they've had they've had they've had a rough one. So I think if we could do that for, them, and I agree with you, I don't want to do any stinking potatoes either. Uh, I'm kind of all potatoed out. Sounds like a pretty good plan. Then I'm all for it. Okay. Well, I just finished the soybeans done. Got them sold. I just finished the wheat field. I'm going to head down and do uh, Joe's oat field next, and then I'll get them started on taters, I think. Sounds like a good deal. Uh, if I get done with these silage bales fairly quickly, I will grab the zeal and run it down for you to empty into an oat. That will be awesome. The zeal will be at the pig farm uh, next to the pig food mixer. I'm dumping this wheat into the mixer there. But uh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. I would appreciate. I would appreciate that. Yeah, that'll work out good because the BDA is just right there at the corner of the pig farm. So I'll be right there. I'll just run up and switch track. Thank you, sir. See you soon. Over and out. I tell you what, that guy's CB um, lingo gets better every time. Okay, so we'll do that. That sounds perfect. The Dower Twins, we're going to get them uh, up and running on the potatoes here. This field is done. So I'm going to take this wheat. We'll drop it off here at the uh, the pig farm. We'll put it into the mixing machine. That'll be great. Then I'm going to get that combine, the bison, and get that down to um, Joe's oat field here shortly. And we'll start the uh, oat harvest. Like I said, 16,000 liters of oats have to go to West Virginia Joe. So... We'll get that done, 
uh, golf cart jockey in his kindness. I tell you what, that guy, um, heart of gold, my friends, heart of gold. He will bring down the zeal to the old field. But look at that. We're going to start selling silage bales shortly. So I'm excited to see that number go up. I think uh, we were at 99, but uh, we had a $20,000 loan from purchasing the BGA. So golf cart jockey must have paid that off at the bank. So that's, all, that's absolutely outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. I tell you what, life could not get any better here. Adrian, uh, he's got to be he's got to be happy with us. I'm expecting a little bonus from him. I, I really am. Um, like I said, he asked us to come and get this up and running. I think we have succeeded successfully. I really, really, really do. But uh, okie dokie. Back to the bison. I just like saying bison. Oh, my gator's still here. I should have a little hitch on my gator. I could pull my gator with the... Uh, with the combine. I wonder if I could... <laughs> you know, that is kind of interesting. I wonder if you could... No, you couldn't. Uh, what am I talking about? Oh, uh, Bison. The Bison. The Bizeton. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. Get that auger put in there. And we'll head down to the oat field. And hopefully we don't smash into golf cart jockey on the way. But, yeah, this is the perfect combine for this... Uh, oh, you know what? Oh, crap. I hit a tree. Um... Andrew had to run a few errands real quick. I think he had to go, um, matter of fact, I don't know. I think he had a, a bingo education class, something like that. I can't remember. But he's going to come back shortly. And I think what I'm going to do is once he comes back, I'm going to have him grab the other bison. And we will get uh, two bisons going up and running in that, uh, that oat field and knock that out real quick. Or maybe one could go in the, yeah, we'll probably just both go in the oats. And we'll get that knocked out and then head into the wheat field while I get the dower twins. Um, up and running. Oh, crap. Look at, oh, gee, I think I took out a little bit of the hedge there. That's okay. You got to take a little memento from Middle Grove. But, yeah. Sophie, she is still still searching for Ethel. Ethel is missing. Um, and then she continues to look online for farms for sale. We haven't quite figured it out yet. Um, and here's the deal. Here is the deal. I put a poll on my channel community page. Um, I was looking at council maps to do and RDC, Pacific Northwest, and Washu, Nevada came to mind. And that's the three that I put up there. And I know there were some other ones, too, and I, I kind of regret that. Maybe I should have added some more. Um, Old Farm Countryside would have been, been, been a good one to put on there, too, and I kind of regret not doing that. So if you're watching this on a Monday um, and you haven't done the poll yet, or if you have... Um, and you think that something else should have been included, please just include that in. I, li I like to get some input and stuff like that. Now, I can be honest with you, right now, as it sits, as I record this, um, Washu, Nevada is in the lead, like 50% to 32% over Pacific Northwest. And then it also has come to my attention that two really, really good friends of mine uh, are in the process or, or have started um, something on Washu, Nevada. So... With that said, and, and we try to keep that, you know, so you don't have uh, a bunch of people that are good friends playing the same map. That's no fun. So, with that said, I hate to I hate to say this now because I, I really screwed that up. But um, I think Washu might have to be will be excluded from um, from that list. And I was kind of kind of surprised that it's actually in first place. To be honest with you. But anyways, if you have any input, suggestions, um, criticism, please uh, feel free to uh, comment. Or send me a message, either, you know, Facebook or whatever you want to do. Send me a message. Let me know what you think. Um, what would be a good option? But it has to be a council map. It has to be a, uh, a map on that's available to council. So, with that said, let's see. Oatfield, here we come. Holy buckets, my zone. It's 1244. It's, uh, it's time for a bacon sandwich. I might, let's see. Where's my cooler? Uh, there it is. I'm going to have a bacon sandwich. Mmm, tasty bacon. I love bacon sandwiches. Yep. You know what? Another big thing of mine, I think I mentioned this before, grilled cheese with bacon. I love grilled cheese with bacon sandwiches. That That is another one of my uh, my all-time favorites there. Am I going? Is this, why do I seem like this doesn't seem like the, <laughs> the right place to go? But I don't know. Holy crap. Oh, heavens, I tell you what. It doesn't get any better. Oh, through the water. Come on, bison. There you go. Nothing can stop the bison. Corn is not ready yet down here. Um, that's okay. It, you know, it's not going to take us too long. It didn't take us too long to knock that out last time either. But um, it's all good, my friends.
Jim! Oh, good to see ya! You, you are a good jumper. You are a good jumper. Still walking, you gotta poop, but you're a good jumper. Yeah! How's it going? Hey, buddy. Hello, friend. I tell you what, you are still one heck of a jumper. It still makes me happy every time. I love it. One of those things that just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? It really does. You can't get over that, right? That doesn't get old. I wonder if I can do this. Am I stuck in the air? You're a pretty good flyer there, yeah? Yeah, I, I've been practicing that. I've been levitating. Kind of like a David Blaine kind of thing, you know? Is that the Mind Freak guy? Oh no, that's Chris Angel, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think so. No, yeah. Mind Freak is Chris Angel. Yeah, that's that guy. He's, he's pretty darn good too, though. I like him. Yeah, them dudes will freak you out. You can't watch them too long. Start wondering about things. Did it any help selling bales? Well, then again, I'm, I'm kind of busy here. But uh, thanks for bringing down the uh, the zeal. That was much appreciated. Do you have a ride, or do you need you know, walk? Uh, no, and actually, it's going to work out pretty good because I'm going to take the gator uh, to the dairy and sell the eggs. So from there, I'll just run the gator back up to the pig farm and get back in my tractor and get back. Awesome. Sounds like a heck of a plan. You are one organized farmer, that's for sure. I'm glad it appears that way. Oh. Oh, careful there, my zone. Almost hit the wall. Uh, Andrew's back. He is back doing... Oh, crap. What is going on here? Uh, oh, didn't see that fence there. Sorry, fence. Anyways, he is back. He is down there on the old field continuing to go a little bit. And apparently now he is just blocked by an object. Come on, Andrew. Go around the object. Move the object if you have to for crying out loud. What is going on? I see golf cart jockey's been selling some wool and eggs. Look at that. We are back up to 91000 bucks here. On Middle Grove Farm, that is absolutely awesome. I'm gonna cut through the uh, chicken and sheep farm here, get up into this wheat field and get that going to the second buy zone. Oh, what? No, I can make it through here. I know I can. I've seen me do it. There it is. No, oh, oh, chicken. Oh, squash chicken. Squash. Oh, look at that. We got a trailer full of. Um... Whoa, he must have taken the uh, eggs. I thought he was just here just a little bit ago. Uh, awesome. That is absolutely broccoli awesome. So let's unfold this combine and fire it up and we'll see if we can get some wheat harvested here now i don't know i should ask golf cart jockey i don't know how much how many straw bales oh crap hole uh we have if we need to uh, put more straw down or not i'm not going to worry about it the first couple little passes around here maybe when i go back and forth i'll put straw i'll put straw down but uh yeah wrapping up the time here on the farm it has been an absolute uh, an absolute hoot it's been glorious. Absolute. Oh, crap. Through the wall I go again. That's some bad driving. Have had an awesome time. This is an awesome, awesome map. I like it. I know a lot of people get turned off by the small lanes and the small approaches and fences, you know. And that's just um, the way it is on some of these um, English maps. But, you know, you make the best of it. You, your equipment choice is certainly going to be... Uh, taken into consideration when you uh, when you do that and we've explored several things on here we've had you know we started off with the john deere 8820 which is just just did not work that we had a uh, rotor one that was not too bad but still uh the ultimate thing is one that you don't have to put the header on a trailer that you can get through and this one worked out perfectly the bison dynamic turbo 38 awesome little combine but there you go there you have it let's see oh yeah we got corn over there oh we got lots of stuff to do Lots of bales to be sold, lots of stuff to do. Um, looking forward to that. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do because this is getting a little bit, a little bit long. Um, this will be the end of part one. Yeah, we'll have a two-part finale. This will be the end of part one. And then um, we'll do uh, part two here uh, next time. But anyways, on behalf of Golf Cart Jackie, 
and myself, I want to thank you for stopping in on Metal Grove. We sincerely appreciate it. Make sure you go check out his channel, which um, is in the description. It will also be linked at the end of this video. So you just click on that, go to his channel, make sure you subscribe and say hi. Uh, he's got all kinds of good stuff coming up. Trust me, awesome stuff coming up. So looking forward to that. Plus, uh, Seesaw, Sorry, Viltonton. Yeah, that, that one too. That uh, awesome job on there. Brown chicken, brown cow. But I know you told, told me earlier that he's having trouble with cleaning the cows. But I think there's an update to that shortly, and hopefully it doesn't affect the uh, save game on that. So, yeah, all kinds of good stuff. But we've had fun here. We have had a blast. We've got we got all the animals. Yep, we got horses now, too, and they, made, they make big money. I tell you what, there is big money in horses. Absolutely huge money in horses. Matter of fact, I was on my old... Um, my old um, Mercury Farm map the other day, because I think that's going to come up here a little bit, that old stream, and Hoff Bergman, i got to do a couple things on all those, because I've been having trouble. So, um, I certainly will ask for your help as well. But anyways, we'll end part one. Have yourself a great Monday, a great day. Um, have a great week, and we'll see you for part B uh, Tuesday. Alright, my friends. Have a great day, and keep them between the ditches. So long. Jackie one Kenobi, you got a copy, sir? Yes, sir. What's going on? Well, I got some bad news, buddy. Um, Sophie has been trying to find Ethel in the outhouse, and she apparently um, smashed the side of the outhouse open to get uh, Ethel out, and now she is covered in poo. So I have to go up there and get the power washer and hose her down. So I will be indisposed for a little bit. That sounds like something you better get taken care of there. Yeah. Um, grab the dishwashing soap while you're at it. I don't know what, you know, like you get cut by a skunk, you know, you have some stuff, but I don't know what's going to wash off this poo. And I'll tell you what, she's going to be sleeping in the garage for a few days, I think, because uh, it ain't crawling in my bed. I don't envy you at all, sir. Um, I'm glad Ethel is found and safe, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, good luck with the rest of that. We'll talk to you later. All right, buddy. You have a good afternoon. I'll see you maybe later tonight for a, a farewell beverage. Sounds like a mighty good plane. See you, sir.